The money has become so worthless here that the equivalent of $10 is exactly 187 Turkish Liras. This depreciation has recently made even the production cost of money more expensive than its own value. Some news sources say that 1 Lira costs 3 Lira to produce. Nowadays, 1 Lira is nothing. The Republic of Turkey is a country that breeds Europe with Asia and even Africa. The country located almost at the center of the world also has a geography where civilizations have come and gone for centuries and cause is never ending. Famous for its historical and natural beauties, Turkey is the sixth most visited country in the world. However, the first conspicuous is the foreigners who come as refugees, not tourists. They even set up their own living spaces and shops in certain regions. <laughs> With the influence of refugees, it is very common to come across beggars, especially in front of mosques. According to the World Happiness Report, Turkey is the 112th unhappiest country in the world among 146 countries in 2022. They must have been affected by the cause of geography as this is also the second angriest country in the world. According to the official data, inflation rate is 85.51%, while according to the data of Inflation Research Group, it is 185%. That's about 23 times the inflation in the US. Asgari ücrete zam verildi, marketler fiyat değişti. En düşük emekli maaşı 5500 TL oldu, gene marketler fiyat değişiyor. Türkiye'de enflasyon var ama enflasyonun hızlı artışı bu fırsatçılardan dolayıdır. Enflasyon ne zaman tek hanelere düşer, o zaman enflasyonun iyi olduğundan söz edebiliriz. Şu anda söz etmemiz mümkün değil. Bir i̇leride daha da kötü olacağını düşünüyorum. The current minimum wage is 5,500 Turkish Lira. In the face of increasing inflation, although the government has increased the minimum wage in the Turkish Lira, there is a continuous decrease in dollar terms. Minimum wage increases create more inflation. Bugün en kral evin mutlak masrafı 1000 lira olsun. 1500 lira olsun yani kuru kumanyaya baktığınız zaman herkes geçinir. We are now in front of a market that claims to be cheap and is located all over Turkey to see common pricing. Let's see if the minimum wage is enough for monthly shopping. 5 liters of sunflower oil, 149 Turkish liras. 1 kilogram of beef, 152 rice, 46, 30 eggs, 59 feta cheese 76 chicken 41 tomato paste 95 bread 4 beans 34 one kilogram of banana 17 one kilogram of apple 10 the total amount is 2197 turkish liras and we have to subtract the rent and bills from the minimum wage rent and real estate prices have increased excessively in turkey in recent years so much so that even one plus one houses in some regions are well above the minimum wage some people can hardly meet their more basic food needs because of the high prices. As a remedy, most single people share their homes and expenses with other singles. In families, most of the members have to work or the family has to move to another city. As you can see that the rental prices in Istanbul, which is the most crowded city, have increased 144% this year and 548% in the last four years. A rental house worth 1867 is 12,100 Turkish Liras according to the current average. If you wanna buy a house in Istanbul that is not even close to the center, you must have 2.6 million Turkish Liras for a house where you can live as a family. This is equivalent to 38 years of working without spending at the current minimum wage. <laughs> Considering that almost half of the people work for minimum wage, it is possible to say that millions of people are in economic and psychological distress. The bad thing is that every price we find changes day by day. The price when I first started the research are more expensive now. In the days you watch this video, it will probably have increased even more. This is how difficult and unstable living conditions are in a country with inflation. Now we are in front of a McDonald's 
and we're gonna look at the Big Mac menu price as it's available in most countries. The Big Mac index is a price index as an informal way of measuring the purchasing power parity between two currencies and providing a test of the extent to which market exchange rates result in good costing the same in different countries. As you can see, a Big Mac menu is 99 Turkish Liras. While 10 years ago they could buy about 90 Big Mac for the minimum wage, today they can buy 55. The cheapest car we found is a Citroen Amy, a French car brand with a price of 241,000 Turkish Liras. To even buy this car, they must save 44 months of minimum wage without spending any money. Turkey is the most expensive country to own a car in the world. A person who wants to buy a car needs 652.29% of the average annual income. Argentina and Colombia follow Turkey on the list. This is because of the excessive tax rate and of course the dollar rate. Car taxes are so high that taxes are paid as much as the car price. Turkey will soon launch its own electric car, TOG. It is expected that the domestic car will be sold cheaper and cause a decrease in the second-hand market. So what's causing this? The simplest explanation for the extreme level of inflation being seen in Turkey and for the collapse of the Turkish Lira is President Erdogan's unorthodox economic policy of cutting interest rates during a period of high inflation. With the belief that this policy will boost Turkey's economic growth and export potential. Erdogan's unconventional economic theory is rooted in Islamic economics and Marxism. He has invoked Islamic precepts against usury and referred to interest and loans as the mother and father of all evil. He mostly blames foreign interference for rising prices and claims that lower interest rates lead to lower levels of inflation. This is the opposite of what most economists believe to be true. Erdogan argues that if the lira loses value against the dollar, Turkey's exports will simply become cheaper and foreign consumers will want to buy even more. While this idea does contain some truth, these gains come at a heavy price. Turkey is heavily dependent on imports and as the lira depreciates, imported products cost more to buy. iPhone 14 Pro is about 40,000 Turkish lira, that is $2,128. The US price is $1,000. This game console is 12,000 Turkish liras. This 4K TV, 40,000 Turkish liras. This is the most expensive TV I've ever seen. Price is 161,000 Turkish liras. Such a nice refrigerator is 52,000 Turkish liras. Fiyatlar dengesiz gerçekten. 400 dolarlık bir konsolun şu an Türkiye'de neredeyse 1000 dolara satılması da e, çok kötü. The reason why it is more expensive here is again taxes. Due to the government's tax policy, technological products are sold for about twice the price. Half of that is taxes and the seller's profit. Despite the high cost of living, people don't hesitate to buy cutting-edge products. The consumption frenzy has taken many people under its spell. They found the solution in the loan. For example, you need a computer and you wanted to save money instead of buying it this month because it is expensive. However, due to increasing inflation, the money you save will not be enough to buy the products you want. At this point, banks come into play, but they don't look innocent at all. In some live broadcasts, there were sudden increases in the dollar rate when President Erdogan talked about the economy. In today's exchange rate, one dollar is equivalent to 18.73 Turkish Lira. According to the 200 Turkish Lira, the largest bank note is equivalent to approximately $11. 200 lira was equivalent to $130 when it was first put into circulation in 2009. An American who works 40 hours a week at $7.25 an hour earns $290. This is equal to the monthly income of a minimum wage Turkish employee. According to this, a Turk earns $1.84 per hour. Of course, you may think that the difference is 4 times, but inflation is 23 times higher and tax prices are much higher than you think. This great
Hitler this was purchasing power. Also, it's important to remember that most Americans earn much more than the minimum wage. Imagine, if this inflation happened in the US, I think the country would have split in two. However, we see that people in Turkey are used to this situation. According to the news on BBC Turkish, the rate of those who earn around the minimum wage in Turkey is 57%. This is the highest rate in Europe. Gençlerin işsizliğin önünü açmak için emekli adam çalışmayacak kardeşim daha. One in ten people in Turkey is out of work. There are many universities and graduates in the country, but there are no jobs to employ new graduates. Young Turkish people are not at all happy with the way things are going. One in five young people is out of work. Turkey has the world fourth highest rate of youth who are not employed in education or training, according to the OECD. Ishwar. Türkiye'nin her tarafında iş var. 18-20 yaş, 25 yaşında gençlerimiz iş de beğenmiyor. Böyle araba olacak, masanın başında oturacak. Öyle bir iş bulayım ben gene çalışırım. Türkiye aids in textile imports and exports. However, it is pretty expensive in terms of clothing prices. Nike shoes 1,399. This one is 2,199. Mavi jean 569. This jacket 799. Zara sweater 599. This shirt 659. Turkey had a painful experience of high and chronic inflation over the period from 1975 through the 2004, caused by political instability, poor institutions, high public sector budget deficits and depreciation of the Turkish lira, which culminated in a severe financial crisis in 2000-2001. The establishment of an independent central bank in 2001, which focused mainly on fighting inflation along with fight fiscal policies implemented, at the same time finally brought inflation under control. Starting in the early 2000s, an economic boom transformed Turkey into an upper-middle income country. The poverty rate collapsed between 2002 and 2014 and Turkey was even hoping to become a member of the European Union. While still classified as an emerging market, Turkey was seen as one of the most developed countries in the world. According to the IMF, in 2020, it was the 20th largest economy in the world by GDP. Motorun fiyatları ve benzin fiyatları çok yüksek. Zorlama bir depo'nun dolması 1000 lira ile 2000 lira arasında değişiyor. Her gün fiyatlar değişiyor. Düşecek mi azalacak mı diye düşünüyorsunuz? Tabii bu kur dalgalanmasında Ukrayna Rusya'nın savaşı kesinlikle büyük ne yazık ki bize de etkisi oluyor. Umarım onlar da savaşmaktan vazgeçerler artık. The increase in gas prices is likely due to a rise in the cost of crude oil, which is affected by global supply and demand and geopolitical tensions. This situation has also led to an increase in the price of sunflower oil, causing it to become scarce in the markets. So, how is this affecting people in Turkey? An inflationary environment is obviously very challenging for those on low incomes and retirees. The press is filled with stories of minimum wage workers and retirees struggling to afford food. Farmers are also facing difficulties. Tomato prices, a key ingredient in Turkish cuisine, have risen over 100% since last year, which may seem good for farmers, but the cost of imported fertilizer, pesticides, and fuel has increased even more, making it difficult for farmers to break even. It is challenging to raise prices on customers who are are already struggling to pay, but input prices are increasing day by day. Many small businesses are uncertain about how they will be able to retain their staff when the minimum wage increases. In spite of these challenges, some of them are working day and night by taking on additional work. So, how might this crisis end? Normally, investors rely on a nation's central bank to control inflation and set interest rates. For a country in crisis, Turkey's problems are not overly difficult to solve. It is not as dire as some other emerging markets. The country primarily needs a sensible interest rate policy and in defend central bank. Turkey has many positive attributes, such as a diversified economy, good growth, favorable demographics, and an educated workforce. However, it is uncertain if Turkey will find a way out of this situation soon. If the president continues to push for interest rate cuts, the lira will decline further and prices will continue to increase. In those circumstances, the only way for Turks to protect their savings would be to turn to a currency outside of President Erdogan's control. We have come to the end of this documentary episode. Please subscribe to see the next episodes and share your thoughts about Turkey's economy with me in the comments. See you in the next episode.